Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to the Menno Lounge. So glad to see you. I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, Girlfriendsgiving, all the fun things last week, and you handled your food. Well, actually, I ate everything. If you want to know the very best banana pudding recipe, and trust me, I'm not a big banana pudding girl, but do you know Magnolia Bakery? Mm Mm-hmm. I made that recipe. OMG. It had nothing to do with managing my Menno Middle, but I'm back on it and walking and handling the holidays. And I promise we're going to do a whole fun thing about handling the holidays. I'm going to give myself a challenge to go live with you every single day in December. Maybe not on the 31st. Did I say that out loud? No one on my team is going to hold me to it. So I hope you join me in handling the holidays. So we're going to start soon. Stand by for more details. It's going to be super simple, just more of a way that we keep ourselves on track so we don't just go wild and then we're like, oh, why did I do that? Okay, I am so excited. You know, I just came back from a little sneak away with my husband to Kauai and I'm ready to go on a cruise again, which I'm going. So let's get our guests on from Menowave Cruises to talk. Let's see, are you guys already here? Gwen, I see you, and I know Tina, you're probably here too, so hang on here. Um, this is the awkward part. Where's that little button? I feel like I must be rusty. Here's Gwen. Huh? I'm making a weird face. Tina's joyful. Oops, where'd you go? I'm so rusty. Hang on, Gwen. Hi, I'm not looking at you because I'm trying to bring Tina up. Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, Oh, I love your hair. You match my bars. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. So fun. Nice meeting you. You too. I know we've been trying to do this for a second. Okay, here comes Tina. Hi, I'm here. Give me a couple seconds. I'm almost there. Okay. Getting organized. I love it. Yeah. I, hi, good morning. I'm sorry I'm like a minute or two late. I'm trying to get this thing working here. It's a different – I'm not used to doing it on the phone. I know. I'm I all know. set up for the computer, you know. So uh, I'm going to try to get this a little higher. Great, okay. Great. Standing up is good. You're perfect. It's so fun. I know. The first time, if you haven't done a lot of lives, I remember the first time I did a lot, I was like, I don't know what to do. I think I watched 50 YouTube videos, you know, and then you can actually practice now, just so you know, there's a secret like background you can practice, but you got this. You're doing it, Tina. You got it. You got it. Thank you. And I've done over a hundred podcasts. I've done millions of lives. I'm good with that. I'm just used to doing it on the computer, not on Instagram. It's just, it's just different. I didn't know I could practice ahead of time. And yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. We got you. Can you got All right, good. I've got my, I got my buddy in. So ladies, I'm so excited for this conversation. We are talking about menopause cruises, girlfriend getaways. I mean, you are speaking my language. I always say, you know, people say I work for food. I work for vacation. That is my currency in life. I love vacation. I love my home and I love vacation. So um, thrilled to have to meet you too. Okay. So we're going to spill the tea. You have a humongous menopause group on Facebook. Who knew? And it's all around these cruises. So let's just dive right in. First of all, I want to know, why did you decide to start a cruise company uh, for menopause? Or was it the other way around? You had a cruise company and then became menopause. Let's get that background and then we're going to dive into all the fun things. Okay, I can give you the quick background here. I am now 63 years old. And when I turned 53 10 years ago, um, I went into the abyss of menopause. It Mm -hmm. seemed as if every single symptom somehow descended upon me. It's like this switch was flipped in the universe. And wow, it started to come on me. I'm actually a health nut. I was taking great care of myself, doing everything that my naturopath was telling me to do and still really having a hard time. Mm -hmm. And so I, out of my own need, decided to form the menopause support group just to find out if anybody else was going through this. So in 2013, I formed the menopause support group on Facebook and the group actually grew organically by itself from 2013 to 2018 to 11,000 members. Amazing. 2013, like you were a pioneer in coming out, right? About menopause, really. 
Well, we had no intention of talking about it. It was just a support group because I felt lonely and I wanted to find out if I was the only one going through this thing. Because, I mean, you just didn't talk about it back then. Right, right. Anyway, in 2018, I was out actually climbing a mountain in Washington State where I lived at the time. And my phone in my coat pocket started to vibrate. And I picked it out and looked at it. And there was this message in Messenger. And here's what it said. It said, hi, Gwen. My name is Jen Leong. She said, I'm a producer at Good Morning America. And she said, we at Good Morning America want to be trendsetters in starting the conversation about menopause. And she said, these days, we seek a lot of our content on social media. So she said, I went to Facebook, and I saw that you have the largest menopause support group with 11,000 members. And so she said, I'd love to interview you and potentially feature you on the show if you're interested. And I thought, what the heck? So I reached out to her, and two days later, we made arrangements for me to call her up. And when I called up the phone number, they answered, ABC News New York, how can I help you? And I said, may I please speak to Jen Leong? And they passed me through, and it was the real deal. And I had a conversation with Jen. They interviewed me. They ended up bringing their entire team of people to my home in Seattle, where I lived at the time. Wow. And I was featured on Good Morning America with the menopause support group. Like I said, the group grew organically by itself just to 11,000 members in 2018. In the last five years, we have grown from 11,000 members to 139,800 as of today in 120 countries around the world. We continue to grow by hundreds every single day. It has not slowed down since we were featured on Good Morning America. So as this whole thing was happening and there was this buzz was being created in 2018, women just started reaching out literally from all over the world like, oh my God, this is great. We're talking about it. You need to plan a convention. Let's get together because girlfriends like to get together and have fun. Okay. And I thought to myself, even if I did plan a convention, it still would not accommodate everybody because we're all over the world. So I decided to form my own cruise company and start doing cruises. And that is how our retreats, our getaways, and our cruises were born. Tina was one of the original uh, ladies that reached out to me. When I planned the first cruise, all of a sudden it hit me. I thought, Gwen, what are you doing here? You don't know anything. You're not an expert. So I put a post in the menopause support group that said, if you are a practitioner or a care provider that is an expert in providing solutions for women in menopause, reach out to me. We're going to have our own cruises. I want you to be featured on, I want you to host events on board our ships. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. She was one of those ladies that reached out to me. And we found that very quickly, we developed a very close working relationship and a very close friendship. Suffice it to say, we were doing very well, doing cruises, doing different things. And we actually had four cruises planned in 2020. And you and I both know what happened in 2020. Yeah, I hope you didn't um, have any cruises out in the middle of the bay when that happened or wherever you were. Yeah. Well, the only cruise we were able to take was our Mexican cruise, which was in uh, March of 2020. But mm -hmm. everything closed down. Mm -hmm. And so since that, what has happened, um, there was some di discouragement, obviously. We just didn't know what the heck was going to happen from that point on. I found that everyone was relating this way like we are here because of social distancing. We were all forced to be mm -hmm. stay away from each other. And we started thinking, you know, if the Facebook group ever goes away, because there's always threats for that, our group goes away. We need mm -hmm. to do something. And so we collaborated, put our minds and hearts together, put our money where our mouth was, and we formed MenaWave as a company, which is now an online integrated care model to uh, care for women in menopause. And we presently have a team of over 40 professional care practitioners around the world that help us in this venture. So Tina joined on me, me on that. We're partners in menopause. We have cruises planned next year. We have retreats planned next year. And this is what we do. So yay, Tina. Wow. Yay, Gwen. Can I just <laughs> shout out, talk about a trail blazer, Gwen. I mean, you... We are now, you know, I always say we are the people who are in this conversation, we're swimming in the menopause soup. So it feels like it's happening all the time, but it's still tip of the iceberg. So you were the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg uh, in 2013 when you started the conversation. So thank you for laying the groundwork. I call you an OG, you know, well, like the original gangster. <laughs> well, that original gangster, I love it. Well, you know, who, thought, who knew? I mean, it, it was, I created it out of my own need. And uh, now to be where we are, and to literally to be reaching women in 120 countries, and I'll tell you what the greatest gift is. 
We have a newsletter that goes out every week. Our care providers provide care. When we get responses from women in Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Africa, yeah. all these countries saying, thank you for what you're doing, yeah. there is no greater gift. Uh, I, and, know, and I know, so know that feeling. And especially, you know, I have women who come up to me, you know, in tears. Thank you for talking about menopause. Thank you for creating a product. And especially, you know, we're just in the U.S., but you're around the world. And if we think we're not talking about it here, we know there are countries where women are not talking about it at all mm -hmm. so what a gift you provided oh so awesome and then making it fun with cruises so and then on 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 okay so tina tell us about your part in this adventure now what's your day-to-day -day? my day-to-day -day. oh my gosh i don't know don't go down the day-to-day -day route but no i'm not gonna go there because it's different every single day depends on the day that's a funny question uh, but i do want to clarify we do not just cruises but we're doing land retreats mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we're doing land retreats as well because some people don't want like cruises. We, we heard a lot about that. So our next land, I know, right? Yeah, our next land retreat is in June and we're doing that in New Jersey at this beautiful place in, in the Appalachians. And, and uh, you know, I just, I want everyone, the world to know that how much I love Gwen. Gwen is an amazing, like you called her the original gangster, the trailblazer, just an amazing woman and a huge, huge, huge heart. And her challenge was she wants to wrap her arms around all of the women in the entire world who are going through midlife and menopause. And I decided to join her. And that became my mission because I was going through menopause and still am. Not really. I mean, I don't well, feel like I'm in menopause. But anyhow. Forever, so, yes. What's in the club? I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I am the, she, she's my rock. And we just forged forward together. When we decided to create MenoWave, it was like, you know, what? when you have those moments where like, yes, this is what we are meant to do. And it, we talk to each other almost every single day because yeah. about our lives and about our businesses and about, you know, how we can wrap our arms around these women. And, and we've done an amazing job cre gathering care providers, care providers, they're professional women from around the world who help us wrap our arms around these women and help them cruise them, the, what we call cruise the men away with great <laughs> gratitude, confidence, and Ease. So exciting stuff. So good. Such a exciting I love it. Yeah. It goes very well with men and well. So we're going to have to talk about that. Because oh. the hardest thing about cruises is the food, right? I mean, I actually love cruising. I, I love, you know, I just love like being out and I love vacation, right? I said that. So anyway, um, but the food can really do you in on a cruise. So I love the idea of, you know, having a healthy way, you're a health nut, they're going to, you know, I would say, I, you know, I've, I've really evolved into one. Um, and so having a healthy way to manage being on a cruise because you don't want to have a great experience and then overindulge in the endless That's ice cream, true. endless pizza, <laughs> endless, <laughs> French, endless French fries are what call my name, you know, like, ah, no. So, um, <laughs> You should see Tina and everyone sneaking off to the and Gwen. Okay, we are all French fries crazy oh, yeah. women. Okay, I love French fries. That there should be a food group, and you know, and I do want to say, I indulge when you're on the cruise in a healthy way, and when you come home, cleanse. Okay. Oh my God. There you go. You know what I like to do on cruises is I like to walk the deck. That is my way of managing. I usually get in a good 5K or more, and you see all kinds of people and things. And, uh, yeah. you know, especially if you go in the off season, most people, there's not yeah. a lot of people walking on the cruise. So you can yeah. get into it. Yeah. And when we're in the Appalachian Mountains, we're going to be doing some hiking. Oh, so fun. Yeah. I love that you're doing land cruise, mm -hmm. uh, land retreats. Um, so good. You know, anytime we gather women, that's one of the questions I wanted to ask you. What have you learned or heard from the women that attend your cruises? You know, what are they getting out of it? What's different about going on a cruise? And actually, Dr. Gal uh, Dr. Haver of the Galveston Diet is doing a cruise coming up in January, and we'll be there uh, on the cruise with bars and talking about nutrition and all those good things. Um, so tell us what you've heard about women on a, a cruise and their experience. Well, you know, what we found is our nights of inspiration and when we're able to share after a week being on the cruise together with our events and things, first of all, the camaraderie, 
a safe site, a safe space where women can really share, knowing that it's going to be a safe space. And of course, we're committed to that with the menopause support group as well. We work very hard to manage that. Secondly, the memories and the and the friendships that you develop, and these are things that you can take with you once you get off the ship. Because menopause is a lonely journey. I mean, it can really be lonely. There's days that are like, can I actually really get through today? And um, every day I wake up and I say, I can do the next 12 hours. And that's kind of how I dumb it down because sometimes it seems like I can't do the next 12 hours. So it's the camaraderie and the relationship. But what we love that we do for our women is we, uh, some of our care providers actually spearheaded this and we put together a workbook. So that, that, and that workbook is, is synonymous with who the, who the presenters are. That mm. these women can work through this workbook. So by the end of the week, they have their own personal roadmap to menopause success. And they leave with that, that they can take with them and go home. And um, it, it, so it's educational, it's about relationship. We are very, very committed to ta taking care of the total woman, mind, body, soul, and spirit, mm. because we are a total woman. And You're speaking so, my language. I love that. It's important because we're not just one thing. We're complex, especially oh, in yeah. menopause. And if you want to have a, I'm so excited. I'm about to fall out of my chair here. I'm all <laughs> scooting all over. Uh, you know, to go through our transition, we need to speak to all aspects of ourselves, not just our bodies, not just our nutrition, not just fitness, not just prescription for this or that, whatever we need, and not just friendship, right? So um, I love that you do that. And a workbook is a beautiful way to keep people connected, conversation, talking tip, yeah. talking points, and um, so good, because your cruises are long, and I don't know how long the retreats are, right? The cruises are like 10 or 12 days of uh, med uh, the Mediterranean coming up and Panama, hello. Yeah, well, those are the those are the long ones. Now, I do have to say, since we're on the podcast here, our Mediterranean cruise has presently been postponed, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Because of the war going on over there in the Gaza Strip area. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, even in Barcelona, they're not allowing cruise ships in there right now at all, and that's where we were going. We had women that booked and women that already canceled, and that reminded me of COVID because of all the cancellations we had during COVID. So that's why we decided to put them in the back burner right now. We still have our, our pa Panama cruise going, which is a 12 day cruise. And then our retreat is going to be uh, three nights, four days um, at the Crystal Springs Resort in the Appalachian Mountains. Beautiful. So um, it'll, be, it'll be exactly just like a cruise except on land. Yeah, and, uh, I love that. It's yeah. Good, it's a good People response, are, right? It gives well, you an, is this your first uh, land retreat that you're doing? Well, we did. We had done one with care providers and a few guests before. We've done two of those. Once in uh, the, the Central Oregon area with hiking and mountains, and had some things going on there. And then once at the Jersey Shore. So they were on a smaller scale, but they were great. And so that's why we thought, you know, safety first, of course. It was really disappointing, but safety first. And so we had to. We want to listen to what women are saying. We want to listen to what people are saying and take that very seriously. Mm -hmm. So that will be uh, June 10th through the 13th is when we have that uh, going on in uh, New Jersey. But it's just a really yeah. wonderful time for, uh, you know, I'm, I'm one of the, I hate surprises, I love to anticipate. So when you can anticipate, and sometimes you can count down the days, so, you know, I know I'm gonna go to this thing and I know I'm gonna get help here and I know I'm gonna have my roadmap and develop more relationships. And in the meantime, you know, with Zoom calls and different things that we had going on to bring people together prior to that, it just makes it fun. I mean, it's so great with social media today, how interactive you can be. Right. And so yep. it's, it's, it's a wonderful tool to, to complement what we're doing. Yeah, I love it. You, you know, when, when things, adversity comes up, that's what, what's beautiful about being midlife women. We're very resilient. We're not going to yeah. let it just knock us down. It, we're going to let it spin us around and see what's new, what's available. Who can we be in this new opportunity? So I love that you've added land resorts because it's just another place to meet women where they oh. are, right? Like literally yeah. where they are. So yeah. they can go there, and then, that one, and then go on a cruise or two or three as well. So well, that's exactly. Great. And and the land resort gives us the opportunity to have a trade show for the ladies. Yeah. So we're going to have a little, it, we can't do that on a cruise Real ship, land. but on the land cruise, <laughs> the, I mean the land cruise, listen to me, <laughs> the, the land retreat, we can do a trade yeah. show. Oh, and true. we're super excited about that oh, part of it. Good things. I, I love it. And always the connection is the most delicious part. And so um, are most of the women who attend your events, now I'll say events since there's got, you've got multiple things, um, are they in the group or do they bring a BFF or how does that usually work? It's a combination. And 
As a matter of fact, they can even bring their spouse if they want. We've oh, had I was going to ask you that. Well, yes. yes. And the, the reason is, is because like on our cruises, for instance, the men, their spouses, assuming they were a man, um, were not able to join our intimate nights, you know, when we had intimate conversations yeah. and things like that. Yeah. But the educational events that we had, it's a great thing for men to kind of know, get educated yeah. a little bit here. And so we found them to be fantastic. And the camaraderie with the different men on board the ships has been wonderful. So that's, that's yeah. really great. It's a time for women to reconnect with their partners too and have really honest conversations because if you're struggling, you're not feeling well or depressed or happy and wanting to do something different, you know, a lot of transitions happen, right? As we oh, know yeah. during a transition. <laughs> um, it's nice to be able to have your partner there. Well, especially when you know it's like cracking open the can in those workshops and the conversation. Yeah. That's a really good time to talk to someone who you're close to. I love that. Plus I always say every man knows a menopausal woman and it's probably your partner or your boss. So you better get it. You better understand. Yeah, that we happen to be everywhere. <laughs> We own the world. We run the world. We thought it was girls, but it's actually menopausal women. Just saying. Yep. Yep. So I love that's that. Oh, that's really, really good. So tell us about plans for the company. Will you continue to add cruises, maybe some shorter cruises, more land experiences? Tell us about that. Tina, you want to take that? You want to answer that? Absolutely. Absolutely. So for 2024, we're doing one land retreat and one cruise. Moving forward, we see at least every quarter having another cruise, having another land re retreat. We, yeah, yeah. So this is just what 2024, what, the way we want to roll it out. Yeah. 2025 and beyond, even more. I love it. Well, and I love, okay, this is classic midlife women. We don't need to do too much, right? Keep it simple, sister. <laughs> yeah. Keep it simple. Yeah. Do the thing and knock it out of the park. It's, it's beautiful. Isn't that great? You know, we don't have to feel it's sort of like when people say, are you going to ha have like 10, 12 flavors? I'm like, yeah, no, we're going to focus yeah. on probably six. You know, we have four, a couple more and go, go deep with those instead of just piling on. I think in our youth where you guys like this, you know, adding more, we think more is valuable, more value on it. And often yeah. it isn't, it's about richer right where we are. So right. I love your, your roadmap there. That sounds good. Yeah. And, and, by the way, your bars are delicious. Yeah, absolutely. Delicious. Oh my gosh! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, what's your favorite flavors? What do you like the most? I like the blue. The chocolate peanut butter. butter. <laughs> I can see your personalities. That tells me so much. I love it. You can't go wrong. Those are I. I. You know what? When when I have unlimited supply, I tend to hop around. You know, like oh, for this while, oh, I'm all double chocolate brownie. You know, I have to have that. And then I'm like, mm, peanut butter chocolate every day at three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay, blueberry lemon. Oh yeah, in the morning because I'm noticing I'm wanting more sweets in the morning. I need that on top of my Greek yogurt. That's my go-to way of I eating blueberry um, lemon. So I love. It. And then toasted vanilla almond. Hmm. Sometimes I want more stuff. I have to dip that one just saying, because we need pe people want a zero sugar option, you know, so it's really tasty, but it's a lighter flavor. And when you're all in the peanut butter and chocolate, like I am like, I need that over there. So glad you love it. We have to figure out, we'll, we'll figure out a way to make sure your women get access to the bars because they will love them. Love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Okay, so tell us where can women sign up for all of your goodness? Where should they follow, sign up, join the community, all the good things? Let us know. Well, our website, menawave.org, menawave there is a tab on there for our events, and you can either go to the cruise or to the uh, retreat on there. Um, the retreat is still under construction, will be done this week because we're just switching over from the Mediterranean cruise to this, so bear with us here. But we'll have that done by the end of the week. But they can just book it right from, they can, I mean, basically book it as calling me. And because uh, I love to have conversations. I like to talk to people about like what to, they're going to get. You're like that make, person. You want to talk. I like talk. to make don't friends text before you I call you. Okay. Yes. Tina, yeah, you're a text see. person, right? Your email, like, don't call me type, right? No, text me. I yet, love, but... love to talk. I love to talk. I love text. I love to talk. But, you know, when I'm hyper-focused, <laughs> please text me. Right. Uh, please text me, especially my husband. He wants to talk to me all day long. I'm like, no, please text me. And he wants to talk. It's crazy. He's the man that wants to talk more than anyone in the whole world, other men in the in the world. It's nuts. But yeah, it's absolutely nuts. Yeah. That's beautiful. So you can. 
Okay. So just to let you know, we didn't, we didn't tell you what, what we're calling our, our, our land events. We're calling them the Menapalooza. Oh, fun. Okay. <laughs> Menapalooza. I love it. Got it. Good stuff. Right. Oh, really good. So go to menowavecruises.org, correct? Or menowave.org? No, just menowave.org, or you can go to menowavecruises.com. But menowavecruises.com is linked to the other side. Okay, I think that's what I'm looking at on my menowavecruises.com. Okay. Menowave. And they can go on Facebook. And they can go on Facebook, men Menopause Support Group. Yeah. I was Not that we need more people there but but yeah just the menopause support group on facebook or menowave.org is where you'll find us everything that we're about lots of information about menopause yes. we have written so many blogs oh, your blog and it's amazing it's so deep yeah i've read a lot of the articles okay. i'm Thanks. always you. gathering more you know learning 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 myself there's it's unlimited we yeah. can all keep learning even the doctors in this space are learning so we should all keep learning yes yeah. Sure. Yeah, so it's very comprehensive because we want to wrap our arms around as many people in this world as possible. And even if it's just a blog that will help shift them, yeah. that may well make us very, very, very happy. We are so aligned. We feel, I use that term all the time. We want to wrap our arms, like I always say lock arms, you know, we want to lock oh, arms with our sister. But you know, it's like coming together and supporting each other, sharing resources, sharing yeah. inspiration. Um, it's it's the goodness of midlife. So thank yes. you for all you're doing, Gwen, oh. the OG Tina for the um, <laughs> jumping on with the OG, making the it OG. all. Pieces. I love it. So I, I, I see a new nickname coming here. You're, yeah, we, we'll call you G O G Gwen O G G O G. Gwen O G. Oh boy. Gwen O G. Gwen the gangsta. Gwen the gangsta. There we go. I love it. So oh. beautiful. Well, I ladies, love. please um, come on again as we get closer. We can talk more about what's happening for the events for next year. But we'll we'll connect and talk more about getting bars to your. Uh, community please, so they can eat please, better and feel better please. all the good things so we'd love yay. to represent you yes with our audience I mean we have a huge global audience and uh, what we do men Wave is a tool to um, that we develop for our care providers to support what they do yeah. whether it be a product that they offer whether it be a food that they offer whether it be a service that they offer as long as it supports a woman in midlife and beyond yeah and that's what we do Beautiful. Yeah, we, we need we need as women all the options because it's such an individual. You know, we have our core thirty four right. symptoms, but it's right. such an individual experience. And so I, I I love how many options women have for navigating menopause yeah. now. So yeah. so good. Okay, to be continued, ladies. Okay, nice to meet you. Awesome. Thank you for the time. Yes, I look forward Thank to you. finding my way to one of your events in person uh, or both so, or all of the above. So, hope so. to be continued. Love it. Thanks so we much. We would absolutely love it. Okay. Thank you so much. Be Thank well. you. Namaste. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Take care. Bye.